Okay, this video is called uh, Dr. Greger Says Fish Oil Is Not Good for the Heart. So, you know, Dr. Greger, he's a very smart guy, and he does a lot of reading. He has a staff that helps him get through the papers. He cranks through a lot of papers, so he knows a lot. And, um, I mean, I disagree with him a little bit about his recommendation of some things that I consider high fat, but the guy's smart, and he knows a lot, and there are times when you can really learn valuable things from him. Okay, so anyways... He has a video called, Are Fish or Fish Oil Supplements Good for the Heart? And he goes through numerous papers on the subject, including multiple RCTs, randomized controlled trials, which are considered the most uh, useful type of research information. And the conclusion was overwhelming that fish oil was not, not cardioprotective. That's important. It's not been shown to be helpful to the heart. And um, some important points. He also pointed out in several studies, it is difficult to remove contaminants from fish oil. So you have to worry when you eat fish oil, are there contaminants in there like, you know, HG, okay? Um, there's another big problem with these long chain uh, PUFAs, polyunsaturated fatty acids. There's problems with rancidity. They very rapidly undergo lipid peroxidation. That's why they tell you keep it in an opaque container and keep it in the refrigerator. You can imagine, you know, it's at room temperature, yet alone human body temperature, 98.6 degrees, it's gonna spoil quickly. So that's a problem, okay? Once it's spoiled, you got lipid peroxidation products that can potentially cause, you know, these lipid peroxidation chain reactions and be damaging to your health. Okay, they did reduce triglycerides, and that's why uh, MDs often prescribe uh, fish oil to reduce triglycerides, but there were other problems with the lipids. It would increase the total cholesterol and the LDL cholesterol, according to Dr. Greger, okay? That's not good. You want to reduce your total cholesterol and your LDA cholesterol, okay? Because they're indicators of the blood being uh, thicker, higher blood viscosity, more overcoming of the zeta potential of the red blood cells, a negative charge on the outer surface of the red blood cells by the LDL cholesterol. Not good. He, however, did not mention a lot of other problems with omega-3s. He didn't mention the fact that any fat you eat is associated with weight gain, um, that all fats are associated with increased risk of insulin resistance, leading to increased risk of diabetes, um, that there are several papers out now showing that omega-3 supplements have an increased risk of atrial fibrillation, um, it's well known that omega-3 supplements uh, have an effect to suppress the immune system, um, that they have a increased risk of prostate cancer in humans, and usually anything that increases prostate cancer risk tends to increase breast cancer risk. I don't know if it does increase prostate cancer risk. I don't know if that's been proven or not, but I do know in general, most of the things that, because it's an estrogen-sensitive cancer, prostate cancer, so quite often what increases prostate cancer increases breast cancer risk. Okay, um, it's also been shown in animal studies that uh, omega-3s are associated with increased risk of metastatic cancer. So the point I'm making is how the heck is omega-3s going to be, you know, protect you from anything if they increase your risk of being fat, of being diabetic, of having atrial fibrillation, and they suppress your immune system, okay? That's why I'm not that impressed when some little tiny study comes out and says it has some uh, significant benefit. And believe me, Gregor would not, Dr. Gregor, he, he's a real smart guy, he would not be saying all these bad things about fish oil unless they were true. I think he would rather praise it than criticize it, but he knows the research and he's read it. So anyways, you can watch the video for yourself, see what he has to say. He goes through numerous papers. It's a rather impressive summary of the issues with uh, fish oil and uh, cardiac disease.